I think uh, people are sick of me reading the questions. <laughs> so they're starting to call them in and so stuff? they're like, I can't stand this well, guy it's, reading a it's, question it's, one more time. It's good for you. You take, you get a break. Yeah. Man, I remember the first couple. Were just, <laughs> I, remember <laughs> when you and I used to do commercials and it would take us an hour to do 30 seconds? Yeah, just like a 30-second read. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. All right. We got um, Alex. He, he called in. Hey, gang. My name's Alex, and my wife Jessica and I are both 35, and we're looking for a general spitball and some advice. So to get right into it, the household breakdowns are as follows. Household income is about $180,000 a year gross. We've got $30,000 in our daughter's 529, $26,000 in 401ks, $100,000 in Roth IRA, $600,000 in brokerage account comprised of total U.S. market, world market, and S&P 500 tracking funds, and about $180,000 in cash. We both contribute 10% to our 401ks and max out a Roth each year. I also invest about $500 a month into that brokerage account. Right now, we're also putting an additional $1,500 a month to the mortgage, which we owe $280,000 on, and with the current loan and plan, we will have it paid off in 10 years. So I wanted to know if we're on track as far as retirement goes, we're hoping to have $5 million in retirement by age 60. And also if we should divert that extra mortgage money to the brokerage account, knowing the power of the market and seeing how we could pay the house off still potentially within that 10 years or before and still have money left over from the growth while understanding the risk and tax implications involved. We have a 13 year old chocolate lab 15-year-old Italian Greyhound. I drive a 2019 Dodge 2500 Mega Cab Diesel. The old lady's got 2021 Tesla Model Y performance. Both are which paid off. And if you haven't had one, go home and whip up a paper plane. It is the best drink ever. Thanks, guys. Heard of that? Ooh, paper plane? I'm going to have a paper plane. <laughs> I know how to make them. I don't know how to drink them. Never heard of them. Look this up, Andy. I, I, okay, play for plane, drink. Paper Let's plane. see. I don't know. See if you get any drinks or just paper planes. It is an IBA official cocktail developed around 2007. Mm, okay, ooh. what's actually in it? Bourbon. Perfect. <laughs> Check. Uh, three uh, Amaro Nonino, ooh. Aperol, and fresh lemon juice. Pour all ingredients into a cocktail shaker, shake well with ice, strain into a chilled cocktail glass. Okay. Going to whip that up this weekend. <laughs> That's your paper plane. I'm going to have a little couple paper planes and see if I can fly. <laughs> I, I bet you will. It might take, might take three. Just fly right out of my chair. Um, all right. <clears throat> what the? This, um, well, okay. so we, we, he wants a financial plan. That's fine. Let's, let's whip it up. Okay. Okay. Do you got a calculator, Big Al? Uh, yeah. I got my got my phone okay so what the, six seven um, Probably got about eight, eight nine, nine, nine hundred thousand call it yeah let's call it nine hundred thousand dollars we'll start with that uh, that's, they're maxing out 401k value. plans right so that's fifty thousand dollars a year roughly yeah well they're under 50 though but close that's enough yeah call it forty thousand yeah we'll do 40 so nine hundred thousand then we'll add 40 as the payment yeah it's 35 45 55 so you got 25 years seven percent okay we'll do 25 years we'll do seven percent and uh, yeah. future value of that future is future value is uh, i did something wrong <laughs> <laughs> so a, f a few things do you pay off the mortgage? Do you let it ride? I mean, I mean, interest rates are so low right now. I would not necessarily pay it out because it's only two hundred eighty thousand dollars. If you ever got in trouble, you could pay it off with the brokerage account that you have at right. six hundred thousand. So I would keep the mortgage as is. Um, you know, if you want to pay a little bit extra, I think you're paying what fifteen hundred dollars a month. Uh, what do you got for a future value? Seven point eight million. Seven point eight million. So eight million dollars, um, Alex. So yeah, you're, you're you're definitely on track. What I don't understand is how the money came to be. If you have $180,000 a year gross income and you're saving, and you're fully funding 401k plans, um, and you only have $100,000 in the 401k plan, so you just started fully funding the 401k plans, but you have 600,000 in a brokerage, so maybe, you know, sold, you had some stock options. Yeah, maybe. That's, that's what I'm thinking. You know, generally this age, that amount of brokerage versus uh, retirement, 
It's stock options or inheritance. Yeah, usually. Yep. So maybe works for a tech company yep. or yep. Uh, things like that. So yeah, you're definitely on track. Um, right now, if you just saved the, the full twenty thousand, it's nineteen five. But let's say twenty thousand for you and Jessica into the four hundred and one k plans. Um, you get 7% on your money over the next 25 years with the amount of money that you have. You got 8 million bucks. Yeah. By the way, my first answer was 37 million <laughs> because I put, I put 40,000 per month. month. Yeah. Yes. I realized, no, that's not right. So if you say 40,000 per month, <laughs> you'll have 37 you'll million. You'll have 37 you'll million. You'll be golden. <laughs> you'll have big Al type money. <laughs> so, can I, can I also mention real quick, Alex, don't call your wife, Jessica, the old lady. None of us like that. Especially at the age 35. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Yeah, I think he's on track. But what he needs to be looking at, he's diversified too. Look at, so this is a really good example. If he's going to save $40,000 a year and all of a sudden all this money grows um, and he's going to jam everything in, let's say, into the 401k plan, he's going to have a non-diversified portfolio from a tax perspective sure. when he retires at 65. So looking at, so this is why it's really good to catch people when they're younger, when they look at a saving strategy over the next 20, 25 years. Right. Because most clients, most individuals, when they started saving back, let's say in their 30s, what did they do? They just, everything was in a 401k plan. And then all of a sudden they come to us now and they have millions of dollars in a 401k plan and they have very little assets in any other area. Right. So when people start getting this and they're like, you know what, I want to be a little bit more diversified. So it's not going to be saving everything into the 401k plan. So he's already mapping things out. He goes, I want to be debt free, but does it make sense for me to pay off the mortgage? Well, you could take $280,000 out today and pay off your mortgage, but you just guaranteed yourself a rate of return of 2.8% or whatever mortgage yeah. rate that you have. Sure. So over the next 20, 30 years, do you think you could get more than whatever your mortgage is? That's arbitrage. Right. right. So you will be paying interest, but hopefully you'll be making more rate of return in your overall investments that outpace the interest that you're paying the bank. Yeah, I think that's a good point because people look at their, their mortgage and they look at how much interest they're going to pay over 30 years and they think, man, that's incredible. But they haven't really figured out what they could have earned and they get to keep the difference. So let's say you pay $20,000 of interest, but you made $30,000 in, in you know, income, right? Right. So you still net out ten thousand. You're still ahead of the game. Yeah, but there's it, there's risk, and of, of course, course. Yeah. Right. it could go the other way. It could, right? And it, it does in the short term sometimes. All right. Thanks for the question. Hopefully that helps, Alex. I'm gonna definitely have a little paper plane. Uh, show's called Your Money or Wealth. Are you prepared for retirement? Schedule a free financial assessment with an experienced financial professional right online at purefinancial.com.